Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Today, we're going to barbecue goat on the gator pit. Let's get going. All right, here's the goat I picked up. Basically, this is the front quarter of the animal, which is kind of cool. We've got some rib meat going on here. We've got some shoulder meat in that upper leg. It's gonna be perfect for what I wanna do with it. I'm gonna do my own twist on the Mexican cabreto. We're gonna make some tacos out of this. So basically I'm going to cook this until it's falling off the bone. We're just gonna pull this when we're done. First thing we're gonna do is hit it with some olive oil. I'm gonna hit the front and back. Now we're gonna go ahead and season the meat. What I'm using is an adobo, but it's a white adobo. It's got some turmeric in here, pepper, garlic. Just gonna Give a nice liberal sprinkling of this seasoning here. Front and back. All right, now we're gonna hit this with some ancho chili powder. And just a little paprika. Again, front and back. All right, so we're gonna let Mr. Goat kick back here in the kitchen. Meantime, I'm heating up the gator pit. I'll meet you out in the backyard. All right, guys, I have the gator pit preheated to 250 degrees, burning lump charcoal, and I'm going to be using just a little bit of mesquite for that smoky flavor. You gotta go light with mesquite because it's a very strong, strong wood. Let's get this goat on here. All right, so we're just gonna let this goat cook till the first hour's up, and then we're gonna start a mop. Basically what I'm using for the mop is a vinaigrette using that adobo seasoning. Once this meat hits 180 degrees, we will be wrapping it in foil. We have a little process that's gonna go along with that, so see you in a bit. All right, so the goat's been cooking for an hour now, and like I said, we're gonna go ahead and start that mopping. This mop is basically just one cup of olive oil, half cup of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of that adobo seasoning. And you just wanna make sure you mix it up with enough time to where it breaks down the solids in that seasoning. Let's go ahead and get this mopped. Looking good. All right, so I'm gonna be mopping this every 30 minutes. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so we've been cooking just a little under four hours now, and we finally hit that 180 degree mark on the goat. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing now. Smells good, it's a great color on it. See, it's pulling back from the bone. So as you can see, I have some foil doubled up here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good mopping one more time. We're gonna go ahead and flip this over. Okay, now before we get this wrapped, I'm going to pour in some Negra Modelo. It's a Mexican dark beer. Just add a little bit more flavor here. And I'm gonna to try to get this nice and tight. Open this up now. Add a little bit more beer in there. This is room temperature beer, by the way. We're gonna double foil this. That'll do. All right, let's get this back on the pit. All 
So I'll be maintaining that 250 degree pit temperature. At this point, I'm just testing for tenderness now. I'm guessing we're probably gonna have another hour left. Again, I just really wanna break down the meat, the toughness of that meat, and get it to where it's just pulling like a nice pulled pork. So I'll be seeing you in a bit. All right, guys, so it's been wrapped in the pit for about 45 minutes. Show you where we're at now because I just tested for tenderness. It's done. Just basically using my Thermopin here, I'm not taking its temperature, I'm just using it as a uh, probe to test for tenderness. That beer smells really, really good, mixed in with that adobo. And what I did was I just poked it in through some of the portions of the meat here and in between the ribs, and it's going in and coming out with zero resistance, so it's done. And I can see it's actually pulling away from the bone. So what I'm gonna do now is just wrap it tightly, we're gonna take it in the house and I'm gonna let it rest for a good 40 minutes before we start pulling this. So I'll meet you inside. All right guys, and here it is. I gotta tell you, it smells fantastic. It's not quite as tender as a pork, it's a pulled pork shoulder, but it's, it's still pretty darn tender. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulled and uh, make some tacos here in a few minutes. All right guys. The lamb is ready to eat and boy, it tastes good. I've been nibbling at it. You can see I've got a really good smoke ring on it. It's got a nice kind of a caramely thing going on too. So let's go ahead and make some tacos. What I'm gonna do is kind of keep it to the street tacos. Lay down a couple tortillas. Just a little bit of that meat. This is just some finely chopped cilantro coriander, wherever you're from. And this is my favorite salsa. It's an avocado, tomatilla, and habanero salsa. It's got just a nice bit of heat. We're gonna add just a little bit of cotija cheese to the mix there. And there we are, guys. This is good. There's no gaminess like I was actually thinking there was going to be. It's just a nice goat flavor, I guess. It doesn't really taste like lamb either. It's good though. And I'm definitely picking up that smoke and that adobo rub. It's a hit. We've been dying to try this. It smelled so good all day today. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for stopping by once more and watching my video. I appreciate it. Cheers. I'll see you in the next one.